During the course of this presentation, we would like to discuss briefly with you the location and purpose of the plica, how it becomes a problem and possible treatments for plica problems. The plica is a normal part of the knee joint. It is a horseshoe-shaped fold in the synovial lining of the knee. We are looking at the cutaway view of a right knee. The femur or thigh bone is on the top. The tibia or shin bone is on the bottom. The patella or kneecap is in the center. The plica functions as a divider between the upper and lower portions of the knee. It is attached to the articularis genu muscle on the top and the fat pad on the bottom. It normally glides over the end of the femur during knee flexion and extension. During the knee extension phase, retraction of the plica is assisted by contractions of the articularis genu muscle, which pulls the plica up so it does not become trapped between the patella and the femur as the knee straightens out. The plica is normally soft, supple, and glides smoothly during the range of motion. The plica may become a source of knee problems in a variety of ways. It may be injured traumatically in an athletic event, a fall, or a motor vehicle accident. Any time a direct blow to the knee happens to hit the plica, the plica band can be torn or severely bruised. It can present as an acutely swollen or painful knee. More commonly, the plica presents as a problem of gradual or insidious onset. Patients sometimes report it starts as a mild aching in the area of the patella that can come on after a long trip in a car, plane, or even after repeated mild stresses that are found in regular daily activities. Some patients may find they remember one specific day when the problem started, or may feel that it just gradually came on after several weeks or months. Symptoms of problem plicas may include pain, popping, clicking, and catching, or aching. The pain usually occurs behind or along the side of the patella. The plica band runs in a horseshoe-shaped fashion around and behind the patella, so this is frequently the area where the pain is located. Popping, clicking, and catching in the knee. This occurs with knee motion, as the plica snaps over the knuckle-shaped condyles on the head of the femur, or catches on small bony spurs in this area with knee motion. It also can get caught between the kneecap and the femur, and hang momentarily then jump as motion continues, providing an audible noise or sharp pain when it frees itself and snaps back. Aching pain may occur if the knee is kept in a bent position for any length of time. This occurs because with the knee in the flex position, the plica is pulled down tightly over the end of the femoral condyle and is under tension. The nerve endings in the plica send out pain messages that are perceived as aching discomfort. The aching may not occur immediately after the plica has been stressed, such as this baseball player who has stressed his plica during the course of a baseball game, but doesn't feel the discomfort until after when he is resting. Other symptoms which may be present are the sensation that the patella may be jumping, catching, or partially sticking out of its normal tract. There may be some swelling of the knee when the plica is irritated or there may be a feeling of weakness in the knee, the feeling that the knee may not support weight. For most patients, the pain and disability of the plica will respond well to a non-operative treatment using a series of exercises to rehabilitate the knee. In a few cases, however, it is necessary to surgically remove the plica. The key to the non-operative treatment of a problem plica is an exercise program. The exercise program for rehabilitation of the knee consists primarily of quad sets, straight leg raises, and hamstring stretches. The straight leg raise and quad set restore tone to the quadriceps or thigh muscle. This restored tone helps the muscles do their job effectively in keeping the plica band up over the femoral condyle. A quad set is done by lying on a flat surface, then simply setting the thigh muscle and holding it. Note that the thigh muscle locks the leg, lifting the heel off the table. To do a straight leg raise, bring the opposing leg to a 45 degree angle. Set the quadriceps muscle as in a quad set, and then lift the leg to match the opposing leg. Hold, lower the leg and relax the quad set. Quad set, raise, hold, down and relax. The hamstrings are the tendinous cord you feel behind the knee. 
If the hamstrings are tight, they make the thigh muscles and plica work harder to straighten the leg out. To stretch the hamstring, drop the opposing leg off the surface. Straighten the back, then bend forward over the affected leg. You should feel the back of the thigh tighten. Besides your exercise program, there are several things that you can do to avoid the pain brought on by stresses on the plica. One, you can sit with your leg straight, producing less stress on the plica and on the muscles on the front of the knee. You can also minimize squatting and kneeling. These will minimize irritation of the plica. How long will the program take to work? Follow your exercise program and be patient. It will take six weeks to six months to get results. It takes this time to restore muscle strength and tone and to restore the flexibility to the plica itself. Will it work? 95% of patients who have never had knee surgery get satisfactory relief of symptoms from this exercise program. If you have had surgery, you still have slightly greater than a 50-50 chance for relief of symptoms. Why doesn't the program work for everyone? In a few cases, the plica may continue to produce problems if it becomes thick and scarred down from an injury or repeated irritation or if it scars down to the underside of the quadriceps muscle. In other cases, the plica has already caused bone spurs that may catch the plica. In those few cases, it may become necessary to remove the plica band surgically and to eliminate it as a source of irritation within the knee. In review, a plica is a normal part of a knee joint. It serves as a divider between the upper and lower portions of the knee. In some cases, through accident or mild stresses, it becomes irritated and painful. In these cases, an exercise program is often indicated. Most patients will get relief of symptoms on this exercise program, 95% if you have not had surgery and a little better than 50-50 if you have. In a few cases, surgery is needed to remove the plica as a source of irritation. But doing three simple exercises, quad sets, straight leg raises, and hamstring stretches may avoid this surgical procedure.